Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good night, everyone. Sorry because I'm having another class from eight to nine, so I just finished. It is uh, first day today, I see. Okay, let's begin with this. Uh, this is pre-intermedio, ¿verdad? Pre-intermedio, estamos ahorita. Okay, let's uh, begin with the presentations. I am Claudia. You can call me Miss Claudia or just Claudia. Any, or Clau, if you feel comfortable with that, no problem. So um, I'll be here, I'm your teacher, and we will be sharing on a kind of one month uh, all the classes. Remember, we will be beginning today and we will go from Tuesday to Friday because yesterday we didn't have class. So it's a nice weather right now and we are uh, having a good connection right now. So uh, let's begin uh, saying our names and something about ourselves. I will begin. My name is Claudia. I'm a designer, I'm an interior designer. I learn English here in El Salvador, but then I moved to the US. I lived there for four years and I love languages. Uh, I love uh, Italian food. I love Chinese food too. I love pupusas. And my favorite pets are cats. I have seven cats in my house. So let's begin. What about you? Let's begin with Lorena. How are you, Lorena? Um, hi, teacher. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay, my name is Lorena. Oh. I live in Metropolis, Camille. Okay. And I have four cats too. Oh, okay, nice. Um, I like pupusas, pizza, Chinese food. Uh, only that, teacher. Only that, okay, thank you. Do you work or do you, do you study? Thank you. Do you work? Sorry, Tisha. Do you work? Um, uh, right now, no, Tisha, I don't have a job. Okay. <laughs> okay. No <laughs> okay. Rogelio, what about you? Rogelio Ferrufino. Good evening, Tisha. Good evening. How are you? Good. Okay. What, uh, what can you uh, tell uh, uh, us about um, yourself? Um, perdón, ¿con, ¿con qué íbamos a empezar a, a, a describir? Bueno, uh, my name is Rogelio. Mm -hmm. My name is Rogelio. Um, I like, uh, well, I work, uh, I work uh, accounting. Mm -hmm. um, I like um, pupusas. Um, no sé cómo se dice, carne asada, beef. Beef. Mm -hmm. Barbecue. Uh, Barbecue, uh -huh. um, um, I like uh, exercise in mm -hmm. the morning, mm -hmm. uh, running and, and bicycling, mm -hmm. and road, uh, road bicycling. Um, mm -hmm. That's a picture. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, next one, uh, Sandra. Hello, good evening all. Good evening. Um, my name is Sandra Vasquez mm -hmm. and I like uh, good uh, lasagna and I love uh, eat pupusas. Okay. <laughs> and I don't work. And I live in Soyapango. Mm -hmm. Only that. <laughs> oh, <okay>. that's all. <laughs> Thank you. That's a nice presentation. Gustavo. Ah, you're, can can I call you Gus? Yes, teacher. 
No problem. Okay, okay. What about you? Tell me a little okay. bit about yourself. Sorry, teacher. What is your name? I don't Claudia. I didn't listen there. Claudia. Yes. Okay, nice to meet you, Claudia. Uh, my name is Gustavo. Mm -hmm. uh, I live in Santa Tecla. I work at Sixmel. Uh, I love the. Work at? Saturn. Sorry? You work at? Sixmel. Six Sixmel. Seis Campanas, Sixmel. Yes. Ah, Sixmel. What is that Six company bell. about? And the company is about technology, technology for telcos. Mm, I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that is IT. Kind yes. of comes, comes. Mm -hmm. Communications. Okay. Communication. Okay. And I have a dog. And mm -hmm. I love the pizza too, like the others. You love pizza. Without that, yeah, I like the pizza, pizza and pupus. Mm -hmm. You love pizza without the it's pizza only. Pizza. Mm -hmm. uh, pizza and Italian food. I like it, Italian food. Okay, there is a and festival Santoria. right now in Pizza Hut about pizza Hut. Italian. Yeah. Food. Yeah. I I I was there uh, today at noon and mm, that was a rica pasta, very, very okay. delicious. Okay, thank you. Let me see Angelica, the last one. Hello, everybody. My Hello. name is Angelica Reyes. Uh -huh. I live in Soyapango. Okay. I work at Rismar. Okay. In uh, human resources. Uh -huh. I love the Italian food. The Mexican food is delicious. Okay. I love to cook. Mm -hmm. And nice to meet you, everybody. Thank you. Very nice presentation. Okay, another Claudia. Okay, Claudia Lopez. What about you? Hello. I heard that your name is Claudia. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so my name is Claudia Lopez, and I work at Econza. I live in Santa Tecla. Um, uh, I don't know about food. I I like uh, hamburgers and pizza. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, a lot, and I have two cats. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I don't know what more information the uh, well, that's it it's it's really okay. nice really nice <laughs> thank you okay Brigitte that is a very fancy name Brigitte okay <laughs> hi I am not listening to you clearly I'm not listening to you. I'm listening that you're far away, like if you are in Europe. <laughs> no. 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 Se oye. No. Se, se oye bien lejos. No. Yeah. Now I can hear you. <laughs> My name is Brigitte Terrazo. Mm -hmm. I live in Soyapango. Mm -hmm. eh, eh, no, no, I not jump or work. Mm -hmm. eh, my my food favorite is pupusas, eh, Mexican food. Mm -hmm. mm. Eh, eat salvadoreña, 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 salvadorian, 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 I have three pets, mm -hmm. dogs, dogs, three dogs, okay, okay, nice, thank you, okay, I see someone else, it's Mauricio, how, how are you today, Mauricio? Are 
Are you listening to me? Mauricio, Argueta. No? You cannot speak or you don't have a microphone. No? It seems that they is not listening to me or if you, oh, or, okay, let's move to Cecilia. Cecilia Romero. How are you, Cecilia? Fine, good evening. Nice good to evening. meet you. Nice to meet you too. And you, my name is Cecilia Romero. Mm -hmm. uh, I live is Lourdes. Uh -huh. uh, I am from El Salvador. Uh -huh. I like uh, pupusas, lasagna. Uh -huh. um, I work in English Corporation. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh -huh. este, quiero ver qué me le puedo decir. Uh, my, my profession is auditor. Audit, okay. Auditor. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay, Victoria. Hi. Good Hi. evening. Good evening. Teacher, I have a problem with my camera, but I try um, solving in the next class. Okay, okay. no problem. But okay. I can. My name okay. is Victoria. Mm -hmm. I I have a twenty-two years old. I live in at Concepcion de Taco, which is fun. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay. I am journalist. Journalist. Uh, journalist. Okay. I I I like um, rock music, but I love <laughs> in in I like uh, Bagoni. Sorry, but sorry, not sorry. <laughs> okay. I like uh, I I like um, hamburger, uh, pizza, and China food. Mexican food and all food. <laughs> all food. <laughs> okay, that is and, nice. Um, only that, teacher. Okay, thank you, Victoria. And finally, let's see, we have Morena and Laura. Who wants to participate, Morena or Laura Michelle? It's Morena Guadalupe and Laura. Hi, teacher. Hi, Morena. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Hi. <laughs> bueno, my favorite food is mm, fish. My favorite color is red. My profession is accountant. I live in San Salvador. My favorite pet is it's dog. Mm -hmm. um, I like to exercise. <laughs> it's you correct. Make, make exercise. Uh -huh. Make exercise. Mm -hmm. um, only teacher. Nice okay. to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Morena. Okay, and finally, Laura. Thank you. Laura. Laura Michelle. The very American name. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Fine. My name is Laura. I live in San Salvador. Um, I work at the Ministerio de Hacienda. Mm -hmm. um, I am an economist. Mm -hmm. um, I like to visit, visit outdoor place. I like to watch Netflix mm -hmm. and I love Mexican and Chinese food. Wow, I think it, this is a group that uh, likes a lot the same things. We all love, I love Mexican food also. I love pupusas. I like Italian also. And I like English a lot. So let's go to the content. 
uh, and thank you for the presentations. All of them are, I think it's a very good level of English, very good level. I detected the very few words that we will be correcting, but uh, generally it's, 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 it's very good. So let me share the screen right now with you guys. It's, uh, we will be seeing, uh, let me see, let me, let me know when you are seeing my screen. Are you seeing uh, one lex lesson objective? Yes? Yes. Okay, yes. let's begin, okay. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. Hardly ever. Do you know what it what does it mean? Hardly ever. Casi nunca. Exactly. Es como que duro de, ¿verdad? <laughs> duro de. <laughs> duro de, ¿verdad? De, de, de hacer ejercicio, ¿verdad? Que ah, cuesta. Más que todo ahorita que ya viene agosto. <laughs> Entonces, este, vamos a ver. Let's let's uh, read it uh, by ourselves. I will read it once, and then I will want a participation from you guys uh, to see uh, if we are making intonation, if we are having problems with words. Okay, conversation. I hardly ever exercise. Marie, this is a French name, Marie. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Oh, well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Marie, seriously? Oh, sure. And then I often go in line skating. Marie, wow. How often do you exercise like that? Oh, about five times a week. What about you? Marie, Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm real. Coach Potato. Do you know the term Coach Potato? ¿Habían oído antes el término Coach Potato? No. No, 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 el coach potato es cuando uno dice que es una coach potato es que solo pasa sentada en el sillón viendo tele, o sea, todo el día, ¿verdad? O sea, que le encanta estar allí sentada viendo la novela, viendo programas, viendo Netflix o los caballeros, ¿verdad? El domingo solo viendo el fútbol, solo nada más verdad sentados más que todos los señores verdad que les encanta ver el fútbol y pasan sentados todo el día aunque hay bastante a veces gente que le encanta estar ahí verdad todo el día sentada o acostada más que todo viendo tele verdad eso es un couch potato así le dicen los, los americanos entonces aquí tenemos la conversación verdad de alguien que no hace nada que es sumamente inactiva, sí Rogelio, dígame. Eh, el traductor de, de Google lo traduce como flojo, el compotero. Exacto, es alguien, bueno, en español sería un término bastante feo, ¿verdad? Como cuando, cuando alguien está, por ejemplo, la mamá, ¿verdad? Estaba de hacer limpieza el domingo, ¿verdad? Está arreglando todo y la niña viendo todo. En, en, la, en, la, en, en la cama, ¿verdad? O en el sillón, viendo, viendo los videos, viendo, viendo todos los programas de los chismes, ¿verdad? Eh, todos los, todo, ¿verdad? Las series, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, la mamá se enoja, ¿verdad? Y le dice que haga algo, ¿verdad? Porque todo el día pasa ahí sentada sin hacer nada, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es un couch potato. Diferente es, por ejemplo, la abuelita, ¿verdad? La abuelita no es un couch potato. Ella ya está ahí, ¿verdad? Viendo su novelita, tejiendo. Ya es una persona que ahí pasa en el día, ¿verdad? No le podemos decir eso. Eh, un couch potato tampoco es una persona que tiene problemas de dis, eh, discapacidad, tampoco es un couch potato, ¿verdad? Ellos ahí pasan porque tienen un tipo de impedimento, pero si hay alguien que definitivamente, o que pasa, por ejemplo, 
con COVID, ¿verdad? Digamos 15 días tampoco es un couch potato, ¿verdad? Se supone que es algo que es siempre, que toda la vida está ahí sentada viendo tele y que no hace nada, no, 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 no hace nada, pues absolutamente nada, ni en la casa, ni trabaja, ni estudia, ni hace nada. Y si es posible, también hablando por celular al mismo tiempo que está la tele encendida. Al mismo tiempo, se están haciendo las dos cosas al mismo tiempo. Eso es un couch potato. Vamos a traducir, ¿verdad? Ese, le dice Mar, Marie, eh, eh, tú siempre estás en buena, eh, tú estás en buen, realmente en buena forma, Pablo. Te ejercitas mucho. Y le dice Pablo, bueno, eh, casi siempre me levanto temprano y levanto pesas por una hora. Le dice Marie, ¿de verdad? ¿Seriously? Paul le dice, sí, le dice, sure. Y entonces yo eh, hago, después hago este, sale como a hacer, a patinar. Pero inline skating, vean la figura, es un tipo de patín que solamente son, es una línea de, ro, de, de rollitos, ¿verdad? De ruedas. Ese es el inline skating. O sea, es un tipo de, de, esqui, de esquiar, ¿verdad? No es como el que vemos en la gente de Los Ángeles que salen a las playas, que pueden ser eh, de cuatro, que generalmente son los de los niños, ¿verdad? Para mayor estabilidad. Pero este tipo de esquí es un poco más profesional, es como más para ejercicio. No es solamente por esparcimiento, sino que lo hace porque él hace ejercicio con eso. Si lo ven, tiene su, todo su... Todo su equipo, ¿verdad? Tiene un casco, tiene el protector de codo, ¿verdad? O sea, que él realmente hace ejercicio, ¿verdad? Entonces le dice Marí, wow, ¿qué tan a menudo te ejercitas así? O sea, porque es un montón, ¿verdad? Y le dice Pablo, como cinco veces a la semana, ¿qué tal, qué tal tú? O sea, ¿qué haces tú? Le dice Marí, mm, oh, pues yo difícilmente hago ejercicio, le dice, yo solamente eh, veo televisión en mi tiempo libre. Yo creo que soy realmente una eh, eh, papa, de, papa, de, <ríe> papa de sillón, algo así, dice, como una papa de sillón, couch potato. Entonces, este, esa es la traducción, ese, ese es el, 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 el audio, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo que estamos practicando es lo que yo nunca hago, y lo que a menudo hago, porque dicen how often. Esa es una, esa es una eh, palabra auxiliar para preguntar qué tan a menudo para saber frecuencia de alguien que está haciendo algo. I often, se es como la frase afirmativa, yo a menudo. O sea, es algo que hago, por lo menos le está diciendo cinco veces a la semana, o sea, prácticamente toda la semana. Often es casi toda la semana, pero no es todo. Si, no fue, si fuera los siete días a la semana, yo diría always. I always go in line skating. O sea, no matter what, todos los días salí a hacer skating, pues, aunque esté nevando, lloviendo, pero es I often, a menudo. Vamos a escuchar el audio. Hello, we're now in section six. How often do you exercise? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. Pay attention to the question how often and what they use to respond. I hardly ever exercise. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. In our next session, I will teach you albums of frequency so you can respond how often you do a particular activity. Pay attention to the question how often and what they use to respond. I hardly... Okay, let's practice pronunciation, guys. I need two volunteers, one for Marie and the other for Paul. Okay, Lorena wants to be Marie and the other one, let's see. Who was the other one? 
uh, Morena, okay? Lorena, you want to be Marie or Paul? Marie. Marie, okay, okay, let's begin. One, two, three. You really fit, Paul? Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get gradually and I live away for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in line scary. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually use what's TV in my free time. I guess I am real coach potato. Okay, thank you. That. Let me see. Entonation. Eh, los americanos son bastante expresivos cuando hablan. O sea, nosotros somos expresivos con las manos, pero los americanos son muy expresivos con su inglés. Entonces, es como... También el inglés tiene una característica que es aglutinante. ¿Qué significa que es aglutinante? El español también lo es, pero lo es por mal hablado. Por ejemplo, cuando termina con una palabra, con una letra y la siguiente es igual. Entonces las une. Por ejemplo, este, what about you? Si ustedes oyen el British, es what about you? What? Se oye muy pronunciada la T, pero el inglés lo hace R. What about you? What about you? El you más eh, que se oye mejor es como que están diciendo hielo. You. No es you, es you. you. What about you? Entonces, eh, si yo le voy a hacer la entonación como plain, que es como la eh, recta, ¿verdad? Y luego van a ver cómo cambia cuando se hace la entonación correcta. La, el inglés es un idioma grave. El español es un idioma agudo. ¿Qué significa? Que nosotros hablamos cantado. O sea, que es como que terminamos siempre en cantadito. Al final, todo es, termina en entonación en la última sílaba. Es agudo. En cambio, el inglés, por ejemplo, conversación termina con sion conversación, en cambio inglés, conversation, conversation, es con la segunda, la, la, la penúltima, ¿verdad? Entonces, nosotros no podemos decir conversation, sino que conversation. Entonces, aquí, por ejemplo, si lo leo así como sin nada, you really feel boy, do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get a very, and I live place for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in line skating. Wow, how often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. ¿Qué estoy diciendo? ¿Me emociono? ¿No me emociono? ¿De qué estoy hablando? A saber, ¿verdad? No hago preguntas cuando están exclamaciones o Question marks se tiende a ser un poco más dramático. Y otra cosa, que precisamente ese tono dramático hace que los finales de las palabras se oigan más. El inglés hay que abrir la boca porque hay que gesticular bastante para que se oiga el final. Un inglés correcto, ustedes van a empezar a oír esto. Cuando está hablando. Si no le oyen las terminaciones, Puede que sea otra palabra la que están diciendo y se va a, como que ustedes estuvieran hablando, comiéndose las palabras. Entonces, aquí vamos a abrir bastante la, la boca. Una forma de aprender esto es agarrando un lápiz. Lo abren y lo hacen así. You really fit for Do you exercise for se van a dar cuenta que obligándose a tener ese lápiz van a abrir la boca y van a empezar a pronunciar correctamente. Cuesta al principio, pero después lo van a hacer para poder pronunciar bien. A ver, you really, miren, no es you con la boca cerrada, no, you, no. You really fit, Paul. 
Véanme los labios. Voy a acercar un poco más. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. ¿Se dan cuenta la entonación? Very yes. different. Very different. Ahora, eso es otra cosa que cuando dicen very different. Very, no ustedes, ¿verdad? Pero, por ejemplo, un error, very different. Very, very no existe en inglés. Very es very. Very. Y si fuera very de las strawberry, ¿verdad? Es más, es, es más eh, fuerte la doble R. Es very. Casi como una R de Costa Rica. Very. Es very different. O sea, el dif different no existe. Different sí existe. Entonces empezamos a usar la lengua y los dientes con los labios. El español ocupa la lengua y los dientes únicamente. El inglés ocupa más los labios. Que eso es lo que hace que eh, al salir más aire de la boca se escuche más la letra. Hay sonidos que a ustedes no les enseñaron en el kinder, a mí tampoco. Por ejemplo, el sonido ch, 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 ch. Esa es la T. Por ejemplo, watch. Watch. Nosotros lo ocupamos solamente para llamar gente como ch, ch, ch. Bye. Watch. Watch. Así. De ahí otro G. Z. Z. Nuestra D es bien corta. En cambio, la D de Estados Unidos o de América es una D que mete la lengua dentro de los dientes. Entonces, ahí es la diferencia. Que, do you exercise? Do you? Es do, do. Es una D dormida. Una D dormida de la lengua entre los dientes. Do you exercise a lot? Lot. O sea, la lengua pegada con la L. Lot. Lo voy a hacer otra vez para que vean bien lo, los movimientos de la boca y van a ver que se oye comido. Cuando no se pronuncia comido, se oye bien. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in line of skating. Wow, how often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Watch TV? El watch no es watch TV, watch TV, watch TV. De que no es solo un poquito, sino que es watch TV. Se suena como una doble T bien fuerte, watch TV. Así se, se escucha como un poquito más eh, elaborado, ¿verdad? Ya se va oyendo un poquito más eh, mejor pronunciado sumado a las contracciones que hay que decir. Si yo digo you're really fit, no es you are feeling really fit, es you're really fit. No es you are, you're. Se tiene que oír de un solo, o sea, la contracción. Let's, let's move to another participant. Don't, don't be shy, we are just learning. Okay, Laura, and then the other one. Another one. Three. Oh my God. Cecilia and Gustavo. Okay. Let's see. Laura and Gustavo. 
Laura is Marie and Gustavo is Paul. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. You are really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Okay, okay. I, I lift, no, I lift. I lift. Again? I left wait for an hour. I left. Left. I left. Yeah, it's the T at the end. I left. I, I left. left. Because if you say leave, you're saying oja. Leave okay. is oja. Y si le, si le pone la T, ya es levantar peso. I left. I left. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Sure, and then I often go in line skating. Wow. In line. In line. In no, line. in line. In line is español. In line. In line. In line. Exactly. In line. Uh -huh. In line. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five, five times a week. What about you? Oh. I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I am really God's potato. I guess? I guess I'm a really God's potato. Exactly, yeah. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Nice pronunciation, Laura, congratulations. Okay. And another two, let me see, Cecilia, and then another one, just one. Let me see, Cecilia and another one. Don't be shy, kids. You want to participate, Rogelio? Oh, there is another one, Rachel. Do you want to participate, Rachel? Good evening. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's 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 Cecilia and Rachel. Okay. Marie and Paul. One, two, three. You are really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Mm -hmm. Well, I almost always get up early, and I left well for an hour. Mm -hmm. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in line skinning. In line skating. In line skinning. Skating. Skating. In line skating. Mm -hmm. Whoa. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I am a really couch potato. Nice. You see, I like the intonation of Rachel because it's not too expressive, too much expression, but it's calm and is calm and, and is making like uh, the emotions that no exaggerating. So that is nice too. You can do that. You can just uh, um, make intonation with the voice, with the tone of voice. It's not necessary like acting. So uh, let me see the other thing is just, just like just deliver, just, just. It's like yellow again, just. The U is like O and between O and U, just. I usually just watch TV in my free time. That is the other thing, let me see. Let's 
discussion. How often do you exercise? Guys, do you do exercise? I don't. Well, I, I don't like, like exercise. I love dance. I love to dance and I love also yoga. I like yoga. I don't know if you practice yoga, but I love it. It's a kind of relaxing and it's a kind of, uh, well, se rebaja un montón con la yoga. Pareciera que no, pero sí. And I, I begin dancing and then I, I like yoga just for relax. And then take a shower and go to bed. That is nice. How often do you exercise? Kids, do you do exercise? Or no, you don't like it. Okay, Gustavo. Okay, I usually, in the morning, I go to walk or run with my dog all oh. the day. Oh, okay, during the mornings, okay. Mm. Is that daily or? Or four times a week, five times a week? All the day, because my dog, all the day, he wants to, to work in the morning. <laughs> okay, it's every day. Every, every day, okay. yes, every, every day. day. Okay, every day. Okay. Every day. Who else? Who else make exercise or no one is making exercise? Are you couch potato kids? <laughs> no? Or you don't have time to make this exercise. I like to exercise uh, twice a week. And I uh, like to do hiking once or two, um, three times uh, per month. Hiking, where do you go to hike? And um, I go to do a uh, different uh, volcanoes and mountains in the same day. Maybe Mount two mountains. Two mountains. Mountains. Mm -hmm. um, on Ooh. Sunday. I usually go on Sunday because it's my free day. Oh, you usually go Sundays. On Sunday. Mm. Okay, that is nice. Ooh, yeah, El Salvador is a very nice country for hiking. We have a lot of nature and places to go. Mountains are really nice, really nice. Okay, uh, I used to do that when I was younger, but now I don't do it anymore. I, I, I will plan to go to a place. Okay. 1.2, lesson number two. By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Do you know what is adverbs of frequency? Give me some examples of adverbs of frequency. Always, never. Mm -hmm. Always, never. Uh -huh. Often. Sometimes. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Ever. Uh -huh. Usually. Usually, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know you have a really nice idea about. Let me see. Others of frequency. This is grammar. Adverb is. Uh, as you know, the adverbs are modifying the verb. So if you are uh, pronouncing an adverb, it's uh, referring to the verb, to the main verb of the sentence. So we're, we are talking about exercise. How often do you exercise? I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often or very much. Remember, 
eh, very much eh, hacer ejercicio, no lo podemos contar, ¿verdad? A menos que las hagamos 100, 100 sentadillas, este, 100 aeróbicos o lo que sea, ¿verdad? Pero podemos ocupar much porque es uncountable now. Es un nombre que es uncountable, que no se puede contar, ¿verdad? Entonces podemos decir, I don't exercise very often or very much. La otra es, do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Eh, tenemos un asterisco, ¿verdad? Con sometimes. Podemos decir solo sometimes o con el pronombre. Yo a veces veo televisión antes de ir a dormir, before bed. Y también podemos decir a veces veo televisión antes de ir a, ver, ir, ir a dormir. No, no, es necesario, me, eh, no es necesario el pronombre se puede utilizar. Let's switch the video. By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Hi everyone. In this session, we will go over adverbs of frequency to indicate how often or not you do something. Let's listen up. How often do you exercise? I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No. I never watch TV. Always. Almost always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Almost never. Never. I think it would help to know the position of the adverbs of frequency in a sentence. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb plus complement. So let's replace the structure with real sentences. He never plays baseball. We always go for a run. You hardly ever swim. Notice the position of the adverbs. Never, always, hardly ever. But let's talk about sometimes. Sometimes is a special case. It can go in the same position as the rest, or it can go at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. For example, I sometimes go to a dance class. Sometimes I go to a dance class. I go to a dance class sometimes. How about you? How often do you exercise? How often do you do any sports activity? By the end of this session, you... Okay, so... Uh... On the ones you mentioned in the beginning, uh, it is uh, two that we use a lot in Spanish. That is uh, almost ever or almost never. En español decimos casi nunca o casi siempre. Eso significa casi nunca es almost never. I almost never get up to make jogging. O oh, si casi siempre es como eh, Gustavo. I almost always get up early to walk around with my dog very early in the morning. O sea que es algo que a menos que esté lloviendo horrible, esté enfermo o algo definitivamente pase, ¿verdad? No, no lo hace. Pero es algo que casi eh, de una de 30 veces al mes, posiblemente una no lo haga. O sea, que es algo por seguro que lo haga. Entonces, este, is there any questions about alters? 
or do you have any special case that you want to know how to use them? No? Todo no, claro? Thank you. Clarísimo. Clarísimo el uso de adverbios. Estos son bien fáciles, o sea, eh, eh, son son los que más ocupamos, ¿verdad? Cuando hablamos en inglés, ocupamos, son de las primeras cosas que aprendemos. Eh, tenemos estas oraciones, por ejemplo, I usually play soccer, I sometimes click my car. La diferencia, ¿verdad? Usually es algo súper frecuente. I sometimes click my car. A veces, ¿verdad? Limpio mi carro. Adverbs of frequency, I usually run in the park. Este run está escrito como que fuera inglés británico, porque el, el, el normal, ¿verdad? Eh, sería run, ¿verdad? R-A-N. I usually run in the park. Yo usualmente corrí en el parque. Algo que nosotros sabemos que ya lo hicimos con bastante frecuencia. Por ejemplo, I usually played basketball when I was at high school or I usually danced when I was at high school. Algo que sabemos que siempre lo hicimos mientras estuvimos en ese momento de nuestra vida. Lo podemos usar en, en pasado también. Eh, la frecuencia no cambia. O sea, se puede mencionar eh, en pasado, presente y futuro. Por ejemplo, una frecuencia. I would like to travel more often in the future. Estoy estableciendo una opción de frecuencia en el futuro. Y siempre se usan de la misma manera. I go jogging every day for an hour. I never play soccer because I can't play soccer. I sometimes watch it TV in the morning. Podemos usar diferentes tipos de frecuencia para diferentes cosas siempre y cuando lo modifiquemos con un verbo. Adverbs of frequency. I do exercise twice a week. I ride a bike one a week, once a week. Okay, let's move. Oh, this is a exam. <laughs> Let's see, I think you are good at this. Let me see. Instructions, read the following prompts. Choose the response in which the other in brackets is placed correctly. Let's choose someone from the list. Angelica, letter number one, letter A. This is a dialogue. Okay, do you play a sport? A using the word ever, which one could be the answer? Do you ever play sports? Exactly, uh -huh. nice. Okay, and then Bridget, sure, I play soccer, use twice a week. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. Which one could be the answer? Sure, Number I two. play soccer twice a week. Exactly, nice. Number three, Rogelio. What do you do on Saturday morning, usually? Um, what usually do you, oh, perdón. What do you do Saturday usually morning? Which option is A, B, or C? C. Okay, yeah, that is the answer. What do you usually do on Saturday morning? Okay, let's see, Laura. For B, nothing much. I sleep until noon, almost always. Mm. 
Nothing much. I almost always sleep until noon. Until noon. 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 Remember, double O is U. Double O siempre es U. Uh -huh. Okay, nothing much. I almost always sleep until noon. Okay. Number five. Tokaya, Claudia. Do you do aerobics at the gym? Uh, the number uh, two, do you often do aerobics at the gym? Exactly, nice. Okay, number six, let me see. Hmm. I don't see too much people. Hmm. Morena. Mm. No? I do sí, aerobics. Sí, no, I hardly ever do aerobics. Exactly. Let her see. Okay. Then, Lorena, number seven. Do you exercise on Sundays? Could be. Do you, do you always exercise on Sunday? Hmm. Hmm. Do you always exercise or do you? Yeah, could be letter A, yes. Do you always exercise on Sundays? Okay. Okay, and Gustavo? No, I exercise on Sundays. No, I never exercise, exercise on Sundays. Exactly. Okay, number nine, let's see who, uh, Mauricio. <laughs> Can you speak, Mauricio? Yes. Okay, now I can hear you. Okay, and uh, number nine, what do you do after class? What do you usually do after class? Yes, letter A, that is nice. What do you usually do after class? Hmm. Number one and number three are the same. Could be in both, oh, no, it's letter A, yeah. What do you usually do? Mm -hmm. Okay, number 10, finally, let's see. Cecilia, I go out with my classmates. Hey, I go out with my classmates about three times a week. Perfect, that is the compliment, yeah. So it is letter C, right? Yeah, letter C. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I think you you have no problems with this. It's a very easy for you. So homework for tomorrow. Because I see you are very, 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 <laughs> uh, very uh, skillful with this topic. Let's have 20 sentences using adverbs of frequency. And please try to talk about your daily activities. For example, I usually eat pupusas on Sundays, or I usually brush my teeth before I go to bed, or I usually watch TV before bed. Sometimes yeah, your daily actions that you are performing normally, 20. Yeah, easy. It's okay. Try to use the ones that you have like job to you. Like, for example, in this case, usually do was very tricky. Very tricky. It's like confusing because it's do, 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 a lot of do. So one do is auxiliary and the other is the verb. So usually it's modifying this verb, the second verb. That is grammar. So try to uh, make long sentences, not 
not just I always eat pupusas. <laughs> that is not, <laughs> that is not, it's too easy, too easy. So try to make long sentences so you can see exactly what is the adverb that is modifying the verb, okay? Understood, kids? Okay, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. It's 10 o'clock with five minutes. I think it's enough. You have to go and rest. And please uh, uh, dream with angels. <laughs> and see you tomorrow, 9 p.m., please. Okay? See you tomorrow, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.